It's the official Big Top 40. I'm Will Manning and we are joined by the biggest artist in the world right now. Everybody's talking about her. Olivia Rodrigo is on the show. Hello. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Welcome for your first time, your first single, and it could be number one as well, which is just absolutely crazy. What has this week been like? Because I've seen, I've seen your face, I've seen your name everywhere. I cannot, even if I wanted to, I couldn't get away from you, Olivia. The stats oh, are through yeah. the roof. What's That's it been so like? Scary. I'm what? Sorry. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Don't apologize. What's it been like to process though for your for your end? Yeah. I mean, the song I think came out about a week ago and it's been the craziest week of my entire life. Um, it's funny how like everything has changed, but also like nothing has changed at the same time. Like I'm still doing the same thing that I always was. It's just like all of these people are listening to my music and knowing who I am and caring about what I have to say, which is just so surreal. Um, I feel so grateful for everyone uh, who listens. Yeah, it's crazy because like the biggest names in music are posting about your song on Instagram stories. Like that's how I first saw, that's how I first saw your name. I was like, everybody's talking about Olivia Rodrigo. I need to check this song out. And then I became obsessed and I couldn't stop posting about it. What's it like seeing other artists that you obviously look up to and admire posting about your song? And who's the one that you've got most starstruck about so far? Yes, that's the craziest thing in the whole world to me. All of these people who I've looked up to since I was like 11 years old are reaching out being like, oh, I love this song. Like, this is so great. And that's just so just beyond anything I could have ever dreamed of. Um, Taylor, obviously, she commented on my Instagram post and it was like, it made a big splash. It was insane. I am the biggest Swifty in the whole world. And the fact that she did that was just so insane. Uh, that truly just made my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just her biggest fan. Um, and the other day, um, uh, Indy uh, Yelich, who is Lord's sister, yeah. uh, me and she was like, me and my sister love your song. And I am such a big Lord fan. So that was also surreal. But yeah, it's just incredible. I truly cannot really process all of this. Yeah, it's just gone crazy, hasn't it? And in a week as well, like in such a short amount of time, everybody, there's not anybody in the world that doesn't know this song at the moment. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, it felt like this overnight switch. It was just insane. Yeah, I saw, who was it? Yeah, Niall Horan posted about it as well, saying that he was a massive fan. Were you a One Direction fan back in the day? Because they did have a song called Olivia. Were you yes. one of those people who were like, this is about me? Oh my gosh. I actually was the hugest One Direction fan when I was younger. This is sort of embarrassing, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Yes, please I do. I used to write One Direction fan fiction when I was in middle school. Like, just like like the cheesy, like, oh, Harry, like, proposes to you and, like, asks you to, like, be his wife. Like, stuff like that. Like, I was that diehard of a fan. Were you so, playing the person, the role of, the you know, the person that Harry was proposing? Yeah, obviously it was you that uh, Harry yeah, was proposing Yeah, you, like, to. write it for, like, another, for you write it for, like, a girl. Like, the YM. Right, like, the, the right. Romance. Um, and so I was the biggest One Direction fan. So the fact that he reached out to me was amazing. We've actually been like texting and he's like giving me advice on all of the craziness of the music industry. So it's been, it's been really amazing. What advice is Niall dishing out? Um, he's just the kindest person in the whole world. Yeah, um, I was just talking about, it's, it's cause it's kind of a lot of pressure to like write songs after you've had sort of like a hit song. Like yeah. there's kind of this, like this feeling that oh, if I, don't write, if, I, if I write this song and it's like not a hit and it's not going to be as big as this song, then it's like not worthwhile. And you kind of like get in your head about it. So he was just talking to me about how to like get rid of that mindset. Yeah, that's really, really important. And I yeah. saw that Halsey sent you a little present. Has it arrived? And what is it? We, we, we're like desperate to know. We've been speculating about what this could be. <laughs> but can you like put us out of our misery? I am such a huge Halsey fan. Uh, I think that Manic is one of the best albums put out in recent times. But um, I have not gotten the package yet. No! But when I get it, you guys are going to be the first to know what's inside of it. I, hey, we I'm better speculating be. speculating too. Like, it's like she's, like, she's like being enticing about it. She's like, oh, it's like kind of weird, but small. I'm like, what could it be? I have no idea. Yeah, so have you, have you even begun to think what this could be? Have you like guessed at all? What are we no, thinking? No, I was like hoping she has a makeup line out, and yeah, and I've been like watched all the videos where she's like done tutorials on how to use it. So I was like thinking maybe it was something along those lines, which would be cool, okay. but not sure. All right, we're expecting an Instagram DM slide from you, okay? okay. As soon as this arrives <laughs> at Big Top Forty. <laughs> Um, all right, your fans have loads, and I mean like loads. There's going to be some disappointed fans because I can't get through them all. Loads of questions. <laughs> Hi to Tia on Instagram. He says, what inspired you to start writing songs in the first place? Oh, gosh. That's a really tricky question. I have been writing songs since I could speak. I like was writing <laughs> so I could literally even write in a notebook. Um, my parents have all of these 
old home videos of me just making up like the most ridiculous songs. And the funniest thing to me is I've always been the hugest Swifty and one of her first songs that came out was picture to burn and like the hook is like i hate that stupid pickup truck you never let me drive and so i was literally like four years old singing about pickup trucks like and my mom was filming me singing about pickup trucks just making songs about pickup trucks because i was obsessed with taylor um so it's just been it's just been something that's been happening forever i think i really started taking it seriously maybe when i was like 12 or 13 and i really started looking at it as like sort of a craft and trying to get better at it but uh yeah it's just been a constant in my life and i love it so much i would do it um, you know, forever. I'm going to do it till I'm 95. 95 specifically? 95. Yeah, after 95, I'm out. After that, you're done. And you know that yeah. already. You know that at 17. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely going to happen. Yeah. I also think you should do a song that references this truck as well, just as like a little 360. I probably should. You're right. You're actually right. All right. I'm going to give you a writing credit on, on I was going to say, and 10%, please. Thanks. Okay. Got a mortgage to pay for here. Um, <laughs> Sydney says, which artist would you most like to collaborate with? Ooh. It's going to be Taylor Swift, isn't it? Uh, yeah, there's a Taylor theme. Swift. Yeah, there's a theme here. I love Taylor Swift. Sophie says, "What is your favourite High School Musical movie and the best song from any of the three? This is a this is a really tough question. I think it is a really tough question. My favourite is the second movie. I love like the summer vacation vibes. I had the Barbie pool that they like shot um, the second High School Musical in. Sweet. Um, and I would have my Troy and Barbie, uh, try, Troy and Gabriella Barbie dolls and I would like put them in this pool. And so it always has like a special place in my heart. Um, the best song. Oh, it's so I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible think to pick. I really like when there was me and you um, currently. It always changes, but right now that's one I can. How does that one go? Um, da, 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 that I heard you singing. I believe. I think I need to go I'm back. Good. I need to go back to the back. Okay. I mean, I have got the albums at home, so I will need to re-listen yeah. to that one. Um, and good. finally, Jess says, do you have a name for your fans yet? If not, wh what should it be? Oh, gosh. You're putting me on the spot. I've been thinking about this. Okay. Um, so many people have like come up with the most creative, amazing names, but I haven't... I don't know. I feel like that's a big decision. I'll put it on Twitter one of these days. Yeah, you need but, to do a poll. You need to do a poll on Twitter. Awesome. Yeah, that's a big yeah. one because they, they they need to be recognized, you know, under a certain name. They want to be able to own that and be proud of it. Sure, sure. So much pressure. I'm so nervous about it. Though. I'm going to think about it and then I'll, I'll, it'll be on social media somewhere. Okay, cool. <laughs> it is the UK's biggest chart show, Sunday afternoon with the official Big Top 40 on. Two songs left to play. One of them is the only number one of 2021 so far. His name is Ed Sheeran. He's held on to that top spot for two weeks with Afterglow, but can he make it three? Up against a seasoned pro is someone making her chart debut, which is really, really exciting. Olivia Rodrigo, driver's license, is a new entry on this week's chart. Have your streams and downloads made it go straight to the top, though? How does it feel to be up against Ed Sheeran, by the way? I imagine that's absolutely insane. That's madness. He's one of the best songwriters of our generation. Supermarket Flowers makes me like ball my eyes out. I'm obsessed with him. Everyone says the same about that song. Everyone's <laughs> got a connection to that song. Are you the kind of person to give fighting talk to another artist? You know, like for example, for Ed Sheeran, would you ever be like, come on, mate, bring it on. I can take this. Oh my gosh, not to Ed Sheeran. I, if I ever saw him, I would crumble and be like, I'm your biggest fan. Oh my gosh, can I have an autograph? So complete opposite. Okay, complete that's not opposite. what we want. It's the chart show. We need to build the suspense, okay? <laughs> I'll bring Sorry. it back. I'll bring it back. I can't. I it's can't. fine. It's fine. I'll bring it back for you. All right, let's All do right. it. I can reveal officially the biggest song in the UK, thanks to your streams, downloads, and listens on the radio, is. It is, of course, Olivia Rodrigo. You are number one with driver's license on the UK's biggest chart show. Congratulations. What is your message for the UK fans who have been, like, obsessing over this song for, like, seven days straight and made it number one in the UK? The biggest thank you in the whole world. It means so much to me that people are streaming this song and care about what I have to say and making TikToks to it. It's just absolutely surreal, and it's just the greatest honor of my whole life. So thank you guys endlessly for all of your support. That's so cute. Hey, listen, not only have you beaten Ed Sheeran to number one today, you, and as I'm sure you're aware, as I'm sure you've had stats thrown at you for the last week or so, you have smashed one of his records. He is the guy with the most streams in a single day in the UK. You have beaten that. So anything you'd like to say to Ed, I know you're not good at fighting talk, but you can say, sorry, maybe, I don't know, it's up to you. You've beaten I that just, record. I, I just want to say thank you for all of the inspiration that you've given me over the past years. Ed's amazing. It's, that's just, I actually haven't heard that statistic before. That's crazy. I, I didn't know that. Hey, there you go. Insane. You're I too much that. of a nice person, Olivia. We need to get the fighting tool back out for single number two, okay? <laughs>
<laughs> we'll work on it. Hey, huge congratulations. Right. And like I said, thank you so much for being on the show. It's been a real pleasure. I know you're busy working right now and you're just, you so your much. life is crazy. So great to meet you. You too, babe. Yeah. Hey, listen, introduce your number one song to the whole of the UK on the official Big Top 40. It's over to you. Hey, I'm Olivia Rodrigo, and my song Driver's License is number one on the official Big Top 40. Officially the UK's biggest chart show. The official Big Top 40.